In fairness to John Bruton, in, in many ways, uh, he just didn't understand, he didn't get it. This is the guy who said that uh, Prince Charles, the British uh, prince, was one of his great heroes. Uh, and he licked the royal arse at a toast in Dublin uh, when he toasted Her Royal Majesty the Queen. Your presence here, your courage, your innovation, and your initiative in coming here has done more in symbolic and psychological terms to sweep away the legacy of fear and suspicion that has lain between our two peoples than any other event in my lifetime. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and to the friendship between our two peoples and countries. Her Majesty. While the Queen's troops were beaten, the hell out of people in prisons and in housing estates and in rural villages throughout the six counties. So John just didn't understand. I was trying both to reassure the unionist community that in Dublin they would find a government that would uphold the rule of law with whom they could do business and that would respect their religious and political convictions. But also I was trying to address the Irish nationalist community in the Republic and in Northern Ireland and saying to them, look, you're the majority on the island. If you want a peaceful settlement and if you want the unionist community to come towards an acceptance of an all-Ireland approach, you as the bigger community has to make a special effort to try to understand unionist fears. I heard him referred to by senior Irish politicians from Leinster House as Johnny Unionist. No, I mean, I have to stress, he was a very professional politician. He was, he was decent and good to work with. Uh, he just didn't have a clue of what was required, and he was heading up a government which didn't have any national uh, favour uh, in it.